I was waiting and waiting and waiting. I got up to use the bathroom, came back, and still, more waiting, more waiting. I even fell asleep, took a nap, and again, I woke up, more waiting. Hi, I'm Andrew Hunnick, and that was my 12-hour flight to Brazil. You know who you are, but let's just take a second to figure out just a bit about who I am. I'm adventurous, I have great love for my family and friends, and I'm a gamer. To touch a bit, about, a bit on my adventurous side, I will talk about my Brazil experience, I have scars, and my move to college. Brazil allowed me the rare experience to get, away, to get out of the country and to get away from my home. But while I was flying to Brazil, I realized that I didn't really know the family that I was going to be living with for the next two months, and I didn't know Portuguese. So naturally, this was a fear. Scars. Scars to me are, mem are a memento. The scar on my leg was com is composed of 31 stitches. I had 16 on the inside and 15 on the outside. How I got this scar is actually a funny little story. My dogs got out one day, and it was about 8 o'clock at night. So I decided that I would go around and try and fight them because I was worried that they would be hit by a car or attacked by wildlife. While I was searching, it got a little bit too dark, and I decided to try and climb my fence and jump over into my yard. But my fence is a chain link fence, and as I was climbing, the chain links actually caught my leg. That experience also led, the Brazil experience also led me to moving up to Hayward for education. I moved from a small town called Jucaipa with not that many people. My graduating class is about 500 to a campus that's basically a city. Although I'm adventurous, I have great love for my family and friends. Some of the greatest memories I have are traveling with my family. We have I have, my family is six people, two parents and four boys, so naturally, it's, naturally trips can be chaotic. My mom always had to run around, try and calm us down, tell us not to destroy that, not to poke this, and my dad just sat back and laughed. And with my friends, every Friday night, I would hang out with my friends at my house. We'd sit down, play video games, play a little rock band, or just go out on my patio, and just sit and talk for hours, hours on end. And a great way to keep my family and friend bonds strong while I'm here at Cal State East Bay is to play video games with them. My three other brothers, the, the eldest brother is in Oregon working for a college. The second eldest is in Colorado living with a friend trying to find a job as a chef. And the third is living at home <laughs> going to college. As a gamer, I play two types of games. I play a first person shooter where you literally see your, the weapon you're holding and your enemies out in front of you. I play the first person shooter game with my two eldest brothers. The other game I play is called an MMO, which is called a Massive Multiplayer Online. The game that I play is World of Warcraft. I play World of Warcraft with multiple friends and my brothers. I also play with my girlfriend. In conclusion, you have now you now know three things that make you run. I've had many experiences in adventuring. I have immense love for my family and friends, and I enjoy being a gamer. And my closing quote is from Anthony Brandt. Other things may change us, but we start and end with family. Thank you.